Now the first step is to now this is for Windows security user allow the game exe file to Windows security so open Windows settings go to privacy and security and then go to Windows security go to virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in C drive open C drive program file 686 open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open again click on add and allow app browse all apps and open this folder check if there are any other exe file so this is the only exe file i think so select the game exe file then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case uh, the game is already added once the game is added over here yeah once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now for third party antivirus users so if you are using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using uh, now this is for antivirus program now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files go to steam make a record in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config file now for this you can open file explorer in your computer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder now open the is it local low? yeah local low and then open fireflies studio folder and then open the game folder over here you can see this uh, settings cfg file so settings.cfg you can create a backup first so just copy this file maybe you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created uh, now you can rename this file or you can simply delete it you already have a backup you can read this and then you can relaunch the game when you do this uh, you lose all the saved settings will be lost now if that does not work rename the save game folder now before you rename the save game folder create a backup because you will lose all the save game progress so same location go back this is the location and then over here you can see this folder make a right click copy this folder this has the save game files so paste it make sure that you create a backup now once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder dot rename it and then you can launch the game the game will start from scratch now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this instead of launching the game from steam make a right click select manage browse local files and then make a double click and launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to 
perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system over here then click on find and then the first uh, the very top driver is the latest one uh, in my case right now it's 576.88 geforce game ready driver click on view and then you can download this file click on download and once the download is complete uh, you can run this file now click on yes to allow and then click on okay now click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and once the installation is complete restart your computer restart is a must after the system restart launch the game if you have amd card in that case uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game over here and for gpu preference select set it to high performance over here now you can launch the game and then check desktop user make sure that you connect your display or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot because it has the intel so if your computer has a dual graphic card one is like integrated other is a dedicated graphic card connect the cable to the de dedicated graphic card slot and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option for this make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then you can check so if that does not work uh, you can make a right click then go to properties this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game so try both dx11 and dx12 and then check which one is working fine for you now still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have photos wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller if you have any kind of virtual controller connected like vjo etc you can disconnect it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click in the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then you can check now if this is not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now also if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and then turn off nvidia overlay so also close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have overclocked your computer set it to default also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert you know or any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app click on run as administrator make sure that you open this uh, command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow uh, copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the third command 
paste it over here, hit the enter key. And also make sure date and time is correct on your computer. So make a record on the date and time, click on adjust date and time, and then make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on, and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. You can click on multiple times if you see any error. Also make sure language and region, and then make sure you select your country over here, and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it and then you can run this exe file download both x86 and x64 and run both the exe file okay. click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow run this second file as well x86 file again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, now you can restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. Now this has worked for many players. So it might work for you. Make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install, install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.